Welcome Scorpio to your April chakra reading. Welcome back everybody. Okay, welcome anyone who is new to my channel. This is chakra. This is getting your negative into positive and getting your energy flows open. Okay, our natural energy. Okay, going and this is a pick a card. So we have deck one and deck two. Uh, you can pick both decks if you'd like to. Go ahead and pick whichever deck is shouting your name. Okay. And let's see which chakra is you either need to keep open or you need to open up. Starting with the orange rock, which is the orange chakra. Okay. And let's see what's going on. We have faith. So... This card represents the third eye chakra, which the inner, is the energy uh, source of your of your wisdom and seeing. This is the, the card of I can see. So I can see clearly now. I can see what's going on. Okay? So, and it's telling you faith. So you need to see faith, right? Have faith, see faith. Fulfillment of wishes. Face your future with boldness and strength. This card says, uh, as soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. And the angels say, big happy changes on the way. Very nice. Okay. Law and attraction card is, there is nothing I cannot be, do, or have. So what? Have faith. That's what they're telling you. <clears throat> and be the raven. Prepare for change. And your two <clears throat> cards are the eight of cups upside down and the world upside down. So as I can see right here, right off the bat, you guys, I see this. You need to open up this third eye. <clears throat> You're also going to keep this heart chakra open. This is also a heart chakra card. You're going to keep up open that heart chakra so that you can have this third eye open. That way you can use the best abilities of your intuition. Okay, so that way you can start seeing the big picture, seeing clearly, not um, having the true faith is what's going on. You're not faithful enough to understand um, what's really going on. If you want the fulfillment of wishes, you have to be a little more, um, have a little more faith, right? That things are going to go your way. Um, try not to let I really feel like you guys are doing the wave thing, okay? It's like the wave goes out and then it comes back onto the beach. Your emotions are bumpy, okay? They're not smooth. You're negative, then you're positive, okay? So over here, what I'm definitely seeing is you don't see any new beginnings. I think deep down inside you do because otherwise the faith card wouldn't be here. But overall... The negative is telling you, you want the new beginning, but you don't believe it's going to really come. Okay, but <clears throat> the angels are over here saying big happy changes are on their way. Okay, especially you just need to have more faith. Keep the faith open. So, the faith is telling you, it says, I have tremendous amount of personal magnetism. Am I willing to allow myself to shine? And there you have it, right? Allowing yourself to shine. And with the card over here, having the boldness. Face your future with boldness and strength. Shine. Be bold. Keep the faith for the fulfillment of wishes that you are looking for. And when you have this, everything's going to come together exactly the way you want it to. Okay? So... Yeah, you want those fulfillment of wishes? Go get them. You have the Eight of Cups over here upside down. You know, you have you have some happiness, but it's just that the you're just not sure if the success is going to continue. The reason is is because it's with the world upside down. So even though it is continuing, the success is going the way it's supposed to go. Everything is flowing the way it's supposed to go. You're not 100% seeing that. Okay, so you need to open your eyes um, 
but not just your eyes, your third eye, to understand that this is the way things are happening and that everything is actually going better than you may think that they are. Okay, so let's get some cards over here. Actually, I'm going to use this deck over here. So we're going to go ahead and put this card back down so that way we can put them in the middle right here. Going after your Nine of Cups, which is your fulfillment of wishes in its own way. Um, the fulfillment of wishes is the best card in the deck, and it's telling you that if you keep going forward with this faith and open up that third eye and keep it open, keep the chakra open, and keep your heart open, the universe is going to give you your fulfillment of wishes. Okay? And they will come. You're looking for the Nine of Cups, and it is on its way. Just keep that chakra going. The two of staffs, so you keep going back and forth. See, there, there it is. Like I said, you're looking back and forth. You need to take your hand off the one staff and only hold on to the one staff. You need to drop the other staff. Quit looking out there and seeing what the options are. You're rushing towards the options that you already want. Mm -hmm. Taking from yourself. Taking, when you're taking from yourself, it's like robbery against yourself. So you don't want to rob yourself of your fulfillment of wishes with negative um, thinking. It's like you become very faithful and thinking, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, and then you turn around and say, no, no, it doesn't seem to be going the way I want. So you want to get out of those anxieties. Get out of the anxieties. And remember, this is sitting on top of the, ra the raven, and there's nothing I can... I can be, do, or have. So your law of attraction is welcome to planet Earth. There is nothing that you cannot be, do, or have. Go forth on this day of your life experience and knowing that your real work is to decide what you want. And then focus upon that. Go forth giving thought to what you want, attracting life experiences to help you decide what you want. And once you decided, giving that thought only to that. Only give it the good thoughts. Only have faith towards it. Just keep telling yourself it will happen. I'm doing this and I'm not going to stop. And then the raven over here is prepare for that change. There's unexpected changes coming. The raven is saying there's unexpected changes coming. The universe is giving you this change. You prepare as the raven for what the universe is getting ready to give you. And what is it? The fulfillment of wishes you're looking for. Ten of coins. Yeah, the achievements of what you're looking for. But there it is again, five of swords. You're robbing yourself of your own happiness, of your own achievements. You need to become the imprint and sit and nurture yourself and keep telling yourself, I can do this. Okay, you can do this. Okay, so then you have over here your future bless blessings and strength once again. It's having that knowing deep down inside you that you can do the things that you need to do. You know deep down inside that you can do these things. Okay? So sit on your throne as the queen of staffs. Use your intuition. Use that faith. Move forward for the happiest times. This is that new beginning that you think that you're not getting with the world over here, but the universe says no. No, you keep thinking about what you're getting and you will inherit the things that you need. It's just going to take the delegation and the strategy to get to where you need with that faith. And the big happy changes in the world are the sun. Yes, because the big happy changes is the universe telling you, you've put in a lot of work in this. Big happy changes are coming. You may not know that they're coming, but I'm allowing them to come to you. Okay, so expect things to change. Okay, as the raven does over here. That's why it's so very important for you to be the raven. Okay, to take on that energy of understanding and trans, uh, transformation. 
Okay, because the sun is going to come in so many different ways. Okay, unexpected things are going to happen that you're not even, you probably aren't even ready for. Okay, so what you think is upside down, the universe has a whole different idea for you, but they want you to keep the faith and keep that open. Okay, and that was for you. And keeping that open is going to be the best thing you could do. Okay. And getting on to those of you who picked deck two, the green chakra rock, we have confusion. This is the silver, clear, however you want to see it, gray. It's actually silver. <clears throat> and this is the crown chakra. This is your innate wisdom. Okay. This is what crowns you. This is what you know. And right now it's saying, you know, confusion. And it does not want you there. That is not a good place to be because of patience and planning. Patience is its own reward. You crown the year with a bountiful harvest. Even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. The universe says within the next few months. On attraction is I am a magnet and attracting unto myself. Excuse me. And be the guinea pig. Do your part to illuminate the universe. Yes. Give that universe exactly what they want. Illuminate it with your light and your love. Okay, because you don't see your nine of cups. Man, this is just almost like the last one I just read. If you guys just watched that. Um, <clears throat> not believing that you're going to get the achievements that you're looking for because things are not coming fast enough. I see this right away. Things are not coming fast enough. You think put in all the hard work, but you are waiting so impatiently, like a small child at Christmas time, okay, that Christmas cannot come fast enough. So with the Seven of Pentacles, it's almost like you keep reassessing your growth. You keep reassessing your garden. I keep planting all these and I'm waiting for them to grow, but then again, maybe I will, I don't know, pull them up by the roots and then replant them again to see if it makes it go faster. Maybe the next batch will, I don't know, grow faster, right? And they will be more, um, maybe they'll even grow more fruit. Okay, so you're always reassessing what you're doing to make things go faster. And I see that here. You're not having the patience to wait for these to bloom. And if something doesn't go the way you want, you pull them all out, you replant and say, plant faster. If I planted tomatoes and I only got four tomatoes, but I'm waiting for them, it's not good enough. So I'm going to pull that tomato plant and hope for 12 tomatoes. But remember, once you do that, it's still not going to be fast enough because you're not patiently waiting for them to ripen. <clears throat> so you're pretty much waiting for your, your, um, you're planting seeds and you're waiting. You're not waiting fast enough for your harvest. That's it. And it's causing confusion because you can't understand why it's not moving as fast as you want it to. But everything has a perfect timing. And so the universe is telling you within the next few months, your harvest will be ready. You will see the biggest changes ever. You have to patiently wait. Your nine of cups are not going to come overnight. So you can feel like you're not achieving your nine of cups. You can feel like you're underachieving whatever goal you have. But the universe is saying within a few months, your nine of cups will be right side up. So going over here on the confusion, there's your nine of cups. Wow. Okay. Just like I just said, you're looking for that nine of cups. You're confused to why your nine of cups are not coming in. I've been planning, I've been doing everything right, but you need to patiently plan. Two of staffs, you keep looking out, just like I said over here, you keep looking out for the faster way of doing things, waiting to see when it's coming, waiting for your cups to come in. You're even offering yourself different ideas of how to do things to make things work faster. It's not going to do that. That's just not the way it is. It's all about perfect timing with the temperance. You have the perfect timing to get this reward. When you have that, then your will of fortune will come in and you'll start noticing as you continue to keep patiently waiting and things start blooming, 
that good cycles will start coming in and you'll see the small cycles. They'll start as small cycles coming in. And then as they get bigger, they'll get better. Yeah, and then you can have that complete leap of faith. Okay, you'll have this complete leap of faith because you'll notice this new transition of things changing. Five of stops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, five of swords. Stop robbing yourself. I was going to say five and three because I got a three of swords too. So I almost said two and one. I was like five and three. <clears throat> and then it got tongue tied. So, but five of swords. Stop robbing yourself. Three of swords. You're causing your own pain by being so impatient. It's mental. It's mental agony. Have faith. Once you do this, all the confusion is going to go away. Yeah, here's the Eight of Swords. Have faith. Get out of the Eight of Swords. Now, that's that confusion. That is that mental confusion. Stop putting yourself through mental confusion and anxieties. Trust for the truth coming in. Trust that the Seven of Pentacles will come through. Just stop trying to readjust everything. Stop trying to replant. If you keep pulling up your plant... That plant is, you know, it's going to take forever for the next one to grow. Hold on tight with the four of coins. Just hold on tight to what you already have. Keep continuing to do what you're doing because what you're doing is fine. Just don't do. Um, and when it's saying keep continuing to do what I'm do what is what it's doing. I'm not saying continue to be in this eight of swords and be in confusion. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is continue to con with the first fruit that you planted. Hold tight to that plant. Don't pull it up no more. If you've already got one started, one idea or whatever creative idea you have or whatever it is that you're doing, hold on to this one. Don't, you know, don't throw that idea away. Okay, for a new one. So like, you know, if you're writing a book and, you know, you keep trying to change the title because the title is not getting you anywhere, just stop and just leave that title alone. Okay, because sooner or later someone, there's going to be thousands of people that are going to say, hey, you know, that sounds like a good book. Just because the first one didn't really take, but you didn't give it any time for anybody to even look at the book. Okay, so you will have this fresh new start and you'll have the realization. When you're holding on to this one and you're having this realization, you'll say, hmm, yeah, that is, that is doing what it's supposed to do. It's bringing me in prosperity. Yeah, within the next few months, you're going to become this prosperous empress. Okay, so yeah. Be charitable to yourself. Don't rob from yourself. Be charitable to yourself. Keep going strong. Get out of the mental confusion. Remember, you are a magnet attracting unto yourself, right? Without exception, what you give thought to, wanted or unwanted, you begin to invite into your experience. See yourself as a magnet attracting unto your essence of whatever you're thinking and feeling. For example, if you feel poor, you cannot attract prosperity. It defies the law. So if you keep saying this title of this book, it must be terrible because I only had two people look at it. Um, well, you have to give it time, right, to get out there to the public. You can't just go back in and change the title really fast and say, oh, well, they didn't like that. So I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go change it. You know, if it's been a month or something, or a couple of weeks or something, yeah, maybe, but... You know, but I'm not talking about that. You know, I'm, I'm serious here because the whole thing is, is when you're robbing yourself from your own luxuries because you're trying to be impatient about something, that's not going to help you. You need to give things time. So that way you can have the four of stuff. That way you can have that pleasure and you're going to feel very prosperous as taking on the king of coins. So that is going to bring in your prosperity. 
Just get out of the mental confusion of this isn't working for me. This isn't the way it's supposed to go. This should be going faster. Things ain't working. I'm never going to make this and that because that's all negative, you guys. Super negative. You need to get in there, get out of this confusion of what's what and have this guy whispering in your ear negative things. You need to get out of that and tell yourself, no, I know these plants are going to produce fruit. I know it. And I'm going to give it time to grow and to ripen. Okay. And use your law of attraction. Remember, give it only positive energy. Okay, guys. And that was your chakra reading and peace and light to every one of you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye, friends.